Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. We're continuing our video review of the Raspberry Pi running RasBMC. I've gone ahead and started the Raspberry Pi and it's loaded all the way into XBMC. It takes anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute depending on your configuration to get all the way to an XBMC desktop. There is no other desktop uh, environment on RasBMC, so this is all you got. In fact, if you try and exit RASB, uh, XBMC from this distribution, it's just going to reload XBMC for you. There is no LXDE or even a command prompt uh, on RasBMC. So I'm using a Microsoft remote and a standard Microsoft IR receiver for this video. And just pushing the buttons, you can see it's relatively smooth. The one thing that you do have with RasBMC right off the shelf that's different from any other XBMC install is this RasBMC settings. Sam is building a uh, self-contained settings application into RasBMC so that you can do things like change your network parameters and at some point uh, hopefully even change things like your uh, Wi-Fi configuration. Things that are difficult to do at a command line. You can choose which nightly build you'd like. There are some uh, system configuration options, including passwords, and uh, of course, the ability to modify your basic network settings. I don't need to do any of that right now, so I'm just going to cancel out and go back to the regular XBMC uh, home screen. Under videos, I've already set up a uh, a share under files which I'm calling TV shows and really that's just a uh, it's actually nothing okay <clears throat> as I said there are some problems with uh, some of the USB uh, devices so I'm gonna unmount and then remount my USB hard drive and we will see what happens so I'm just gonna unplug it from the Raspberry Pi So I've plugged back in my USB hard drive and we'll see if the Raspberry Pi mounts it. I see it uh, mounting the drive. So now I'll just run into files. And there you can see my Nexstar 80 and my uh, source is set up correctly. The reason I wanted to set up the source was so that I could just uh, modify the content on it and walk you through a library update. So there's maybe 10 TV shows in five different folders. You can see it's a little bit slow, all things considered. Set the content type as TV shows and just set RasBMC to uh, run a library update. And you can see it running the library update now. So it's much slower than it would be if you were running on Windows or many other uh, platforms. It's One thing that's frustrating about the Raspberry Pi is that the processor just isn't powerful enough to get through some basic functions. So whenever the processor is under any kind of load, the whole device pretty much lags and just basically stops working. And uh, you also run into some problems with USB. If, uh, if anything happens to a USB connection, sometimes it'll just uh, stop all the devices from working. So it's still a little bit of an early, uh, early device. But that being said, when it is working, it works pretty well. When I've taken the Raspberry Pi and plugged it into a regular TV over HDMI and uh, used it with just an IR receiver and a remote, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I used, uh, I made a single source on my NAS device and had it plug into my MySQL uh, database. So the Raspberry Pi was not actually doing any of the database work or the uh, uh, using the USB to uh, actually provide the video. So that worked very well. Uh, as a network attached video device, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with its performance. So we're still updating uh, the library here. And again, this is only about 10 different uh, 
10 different episodes on a couple of different shows, so it's, it's taking a very long time. I'm going to switch over to a media view. This is just some old stuff that I had uh, images pulled off of DVDs and whatnot lying around. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's still definitely very laggy. Now, one thing about the newer builds of XBMC is that uh, the fan art and the banners are actually just referenced in the database, and it looks like it downloads them the first time you try to view it. So it may be very, very slow when you connect up to especially a, uh, uh, like a MySQL environment because none of the fan art and none of the episode uh, pictures or anything like that is actually uh, being referenced from somewhere else. It goes and it downloads them from uh, TVDB uh, the first time you try and go look at it. So this is going to be particularly slow until I've actually pulled down each image. And I'll walk through a couple of these and I'll start a video for you momentarily. But you can see now the fan art for Stargate's come up and uh, hasn't quite come down for uh, Voyager. Figured I'd put some appropriately nerdy uh, shows on the drive. If you're going to do a review of a Raspberry Pi, the least you can do is have Stargate and Star Trek on there. Okay, the database load has finished, and now hopefully we're going to see it try and download the fan art in the background, and then those will pop up pretty quick. The same would be true for movies as well. So, Stargate has come up. <coughs> now, Voyager, Y50, Dexter, and Castle. Now the theory is, after the first time it has gone through and collected all of this fan art and banners, subsequent uh, reboots and uh, just scanning of your library will be much, much faster because all of those images will actually be local on the Raspberry Pi itself. So to use MySQL before, it used to be uh, necessary to do something funny like r-syncing your thumbnails or uh, doing path substitution for your thumbnails and, and fan art. That, in theory, is no longer necessary as you get into the newer builds. And you can see it's, it's relatively quick now, switching over to the different uh, uh, images. So I'm going to go ahead and start up one of these castle episodes. These are high def. Uh, these are just pulled off the air. It's doing the uh, media scan now, which also is very slow. I mean, you, if you've ever used XBMC on an Apple TV or on Windows, these are things that, that go very quickly on any other platform, but are just painfully slow on a Raspberry Pi. I mean, there's only five episodes here that it has to grab, and it takes, you know, a couple of seconds per episode. And then it still has to go out and uh, grab the uh, individual episode images, which it hasn't done yet. So you're, we're still lagging. It's uh, a couple key presses behind right now. So now you've got it uh, loaded up. Now, I've been talking about how slow everything is, but to be honest, as soon as you get all of the fan art and individual episode art thumbnails and whatnot downloaded and local and cached, it's pretty quick. As you can see, just uh, scrolling through the images. And then to start a video, of course, you just press play. It is pretty slow to initially buffer, and this is playing off of a local USB hard drive, and it's still pretty slow. But once it does start playing, it's uh, perfectly decent quality. I'm skipping ahead 30 seconds. Whenever I skip ahead, I get uh, a white screen and it slowly uh, fixes itself. So you can see that there's a very similar effect to what they used to refer to as the train wreck effect. 
on Crystal Ubuntu or other devices where skipping ahead and uh, jumping back don't work very well. Uh, using fast forward is also not uh, particularly good. I'm going to uh, 4x here and it it doesn't actually appear to be moving faster so I'm not convinced that fast forward even works. Going back to just a regular seek and now it's just playing again. So not every feature works. Fast forward and back are not completely uh, set up yet. But if you can live without some of the uh, seeking features and you're not really all that concerned with speed and performance, the general everyday performance, especially for using this uh, connected to a NAS device, is surprisingly good, especially when you consider that this is you know, a $35 computer running all free software. So, I mean, this is the uh, current state of the Raspberry Pi running RasBMC, and this is release candidate number four. It's surprisingly good, but uh, in my opinion, it's still a bit of a hobby project when you factor in that you can get uh, higher end video players for about $100 that are pretty seamless, almost flawless performance. I have a couple of Apple TV 2s in the house, and those are what I use primarily on most of my TVs, as well as a Crystal Ubuntu install on a uh, Apple TV first generation. So Raspberry Pi is pretty cool, not necessarily ready for the uh, big leagues yet, but uh, a fun hobby project and uh, certainly something that's worth keeping an eye on for. Uh, in some subsequent videos, I'm uh, toying around with the idea of turning a Raspberry Pi into an extremely low-powered NAS device, and I'm also interested to uh, install MySQL and PHP MyAdmin to see if it can run both a NAS and a MySQL uh, server. That I think it might actually be perfect for with XBMC because it's a relatively small, cheap device, low power, and if we could attach it to an externally powered USB hard drive, you can get all the power of something like a QNAP or a Synology NAS for a fraction of the cost. So you'd still have to buy a hard drive, but you can get a good hard drive, good 2 terabyte hard drive for $100, $150, and then throw a Raspberry Pi on it with a pretty uh, slimmed down, uh, probably a Raspbian installation and uh, you know, share things via NFS or Samba and uh, with any luck it'll, it'll provide uh, pretty good results. So keep tuned and uh, I'll update videos as I have the time. Thanks for watching.